Alright guys, time for our next speaker. Nabil Khan is an innovator, inventor, and tech expert. He is also the founder of the Zyrus organization. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage Nabil Khan. This evening, I'm going to take you on the journey on the past, present, and future of transparent technology, with the hopes that some of you will be inspired. The oldest form of transparent technology is so ubiquitous that it's hard to consider as being a piece of technology. Anyone care to take a guess at what that is? Did anyone think of glass? Man-made glass can be dated as far back as 3500 BCE. Originating in the eastern Mediterranean region, it, like so many other technological innovations, was discovered by accident. It was a byproduct of a metalworking and glazing process called faience. During the first century BCE, the glass industry was revolutionized throughout the invention of glass blowing techniques. This helped make glass production inexpensive, encouraging its use over the next thousand years in everything from art to architecture, and helped the technology spread throughout Europe and eventually the world. Centuries of refining both the techniques and glass quality gave rise to more complex artistic endeavors leading to the creation of some of the most iconic and breathtaking pieces of architecture. Pictured here, the Pink Mosque in Shiraz, Iran, was built in the late 19th century. Around that time, a new glass finishing technique known as acid etching started gaining popularity. Acid etching allowed glass to be utilized in applications previously reserved for opaque materials, where privacy was a necessity. This, created a, this new type of glass created a balance of privacy and transparency. Despite over five millennia of innovation, glass was still a very heavy and fragile material. But that all began to change in the 1960s when research into muscle glass began. Over the next 50 years, glass slowly became lighter, stronger, and more pervasive, eventually leading to its use in billions of consumer devices. Although there have been many innovations in the strength transparency and color of glass, it's still very close to the material that was accidentally discovered. It's stagnant and generally single purpose. But with the invention of a new type of glass, that's all about to change. No, this photo isn't showing the board, how the boardroom looked before someone left the window open overnight in the middle of a Calgary winter, nor my amazing Photoshop skills. This is the same office with the same glass taken only a few seconds later. So what exactly is this sorcery? <laughs> Electrochromic glass, also known as smart glass. This type of glass has the unique ability to change from transparent to fully opaque only within a few seconds. Because of the way it works, you can specify the degree of opacity, allowing you to control exactly how much privacy you need. So how exactly does it work? That's how. <laughs> well, an accurate description of how electrochromic glass works would take more than 20 seconds to explain. Essentially, by applying a voltage, ions are moved from a storage layer to a surface layer where a chemical reaction changes the properties of the glass, allowing it to transmit or reflect light. Smart glass's ability to easily control its opacity means it has a wide range of applications. Pictured here, the Boeing 787 Dreamliner uses electrochromic glass to provide passengers with the ability to customize the opacity, eliminating the need for plastic window covers. A minor alteration to the manufacturing of electrochromic glass gives it the ability to control the amount of light reflected. This makes it perfect for addressing one of the most frustrating things about nighttime driving in Calgary being blinded by one of the hundred of unnecessarily large pickups. <laughs> Everything I mentioned about smart glass to this point is commercially available and accessible to anyone. There's even a growing number of manufacturers who pr produce electrochromic film, allowing you to integrate this technology into existing devices. This photo is an example of a rear view mirror and an LCD screen behind electrochromic glass. We've seen where we've come from and where we currently are with transparent technologies. The future is even more exciting. In the next few months and years, we're going to see more and more transparent displays in TVs, mobile devices, and even wearables. But that doesn't even come close to some of the innovative leaps on the horizon. Well, at first glance, this appears to be a simple piece of glass. It is, in fact, something far more revolutionary. 
This glass square is actually a transparent solar cell, capable of generating electricity using ultraviolet and near-infrared light, wavelengths of light completely invisible to our eyes. Arguably, the most anticipated next step in transparent technology is the invisibility cloak. <laughs> it would allow us not only to scare the crap out of our friends or sneak into honeydews, but it would close the gap between the magical and the technological. While we still have a long way to go before it works as well as it does in this picture, what we have now is a good start. It's a good start if you're willing to ignore the bulky projector, camera, and infrastructure for the next <laughs> Regardless, the research being done to perfect these cloaks lay the foundation for one day it might be an actual invisibility cloak, not someone pretending to be a ghost in a raincoat. <laughs> an alternative method to achieve invisibility utilizes the mirage principle and carbon nanotubes, which are tube-shaped nanoscale structures comprised exclusively of carbon atoms. The process uses an electrical field to alter the orientation of the nanotubes, so they refract light rather than reflect it, giving way to a true invisibility cloak. I've ended off on a technology straight out of fantasy and science fiction, and while some, while some may look at it and say it's right up there with a the hoverboard, a technology we were promised and seemed simply continue waiting for, I believe we're not far off from seeing some real leaps and bounds in transparent technology. Helping ideas manifest through technology is what I do on a day-to-day -day basis at the Zyrus organization. If you'd like more information on some of the technology in this presentation, or have an idea that could be improved with technology, please get in touch with me by the Zyrus website at zyrus.org. Thank you. Thank you. And his epic beard.